Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and this is going to be a pretty much a uh, a re-upload video. So, yeah. So don't worry about that. So uh, I'm going to get directly into it, so you guys get to see uh, what's going on here. So we have here one to six hiring managers have been told to stop hiring white men. Survey finds. A recent survey of a thousand managers in the United States found that one in six, or about sixty percent, have been told to stop hiring white men. Additionally, 14% of hiring managers said they have also been told to deprioritize de hiring white women. The survey published by Resume Builder and Paul Fish on Wednesday found that 50% of hiring managers believe their company practices reverse discrimination, passing over members of racial and gender minorities in order to meet diversity benchmarks. In addition, the survey found that 48% of hiring managers have been asked to prioritize diversity over qualifications, and 53% believe their job will be in danger if they, don't, if they don't hire enough diverse employees. The full survey results can be viewed here, which I'll be showing you guys momentarily. And this is what I'm talking about, guys, with specifically when we're going to, like, racism and stuff like that to where um, white people are mostly being affected by this. When I mentioned in my last video, particularly when I was uh, talking about when white people are not able to get jobs, this is part of the reason why. Um, you're having very far-left activists um, go out and say that white people should not be able to get jobs and white people should not be hired, and this is the cause of it. You don't... And what the, the bigger problem that I have is is that people that oh, keep on promoting this or want to say, oh, well, it's happened to other black people or whatever, I don't care because two wrongs don't make a right, which I mentioned again last time in my other video. We have people that are uh, being – that are breaking the 14, 14th Amendment, which is obviously a huge violation of, of that, and, uh, and these people should sue because – the whole point of not being racist is to not to hire somebody based on color, but based on their skills. And this is what I mean is that companies will fail, businesses will fail, other things will fail because of the mere fact that you're not getting the best people for the job. Um, the best people for the job are with their skills and what they have to offer not for based on their skin tone or what have you and which is also means which uh, and to me in my personal opinion demeans black people or demeans any other race and the reason why that i think it demeans any other race is because of this one simple factor they're saying essentially in my view that you need to be catered to you're too dumb or too stupid to get a job otherwise so now we have to give you special privilege to get this job and, and hire it and i have no uh, desire to be in that particular field to where I'm judged, judged not because of my skills but because of what skin tone that I am and that's what I find completely ridiculous, completely asinine and why I just do not want to ever have to deal with that um, and I feel for white people in the particular because white people are being horribly discriminated against, they're being told that they're the worst people on the planet, they're being told that they're automatically racist just for being white, they're saying they have white privilege, when in reality there is no white privilege because I have plenty of people as friends that have been in trailer parks, have been in um, more well off than others, I, I've had all kinds of people to where their um their where their social standing is or whether their life has not been great one of my very close friends ha life is not great he is significantly poor but i don't look down on him because of this but of course you have far leftist people that will call and call him uh having white privilege when he has not had any sort of white privilege because the what his life portrayals is not really the greatest and that's with a lot of people. It's not just with black people. It's not just with Mexicans. It's not with any other race. We all come from struggles. We all we all struggle to survive in this hellish world that we live in. And that's just the reality of things. And if we're gonna keep on going on, uh, if we're gonna keep on going on with this, then welcome to collapse, ladies and gentlemen. Um, because. You'll be the reason why this country dies. You'll be the reason why you'll be living in a third world country, and you'll be the reason why um, nothing will be get, nothing will be great to you. We may be a world power now, but give it another five, ten years, and look at our world power slowly diminish. Um, so I really want you guys to think. 
Do you honestly think you're pushing for progressiveness or do you think you're pushing for for worse things? We have people that um, want to give children these weird surgeries and you think that's not odd? So, um, I, I really come to declare to you guys the stupidity of your actions. Now, we have this here, which is the article resume builder, which is one in six hiring managers have been told to stop hiring white men. Um, so it says here, 52% of hiring managers believe their company practices reverse discrimination in hiring. So it said, uh, obviously this has your strongly believe is to 23.74%. Yes, I won't believe it's 28.64%. No, do not believe 57.65%, which is obviously, do you believe your company practices reverse discrimination in hiring? Which could also be <coughs> where people are thinking that where they're being discriminated against because they're not of a certain of uh, skin tone, which is completely just uh, it's completely messed up. One in six have been told to de deprioritize hiring white men. How often do you ask do you pass on qualified candidates because they are not diverse enough? Very often, somewhat often, not very often, and almost never. Which is obviously being you know the thirty five percent, et cetera, et cetera. So. Um, these hiring practices are obviously very, very racist. Um, and you want, and people may say, oh no, it's for, you know, uh, not being discriminated. So, okay, well, you're discriminating against a, another group of people for our skin tone. So you're actively racist. They See, see, here's the thing. These people want to start acting like they're not the racist ones, yet they are the white racist ones. Because the only way to cater to uh, one group of people or to say you're one for one group of people is to hate or to discriminate against another race. Or the mere fact that you have to give them special things because you think they're not able to make it, so therefore you discriminate against them because of that. There is no winning this, oh, we're not racist type of deal because, well, you, you, you use tactics that either demean them or discriminate against another group of people, therefore racism. So I don't really want to hear it from these far leftists that they're saying they're not racist people because I think that they are. I think that these uh, people are honestly try to destroy just society and cause divisiveness because that's the only thing that I see here. Um, I don't see anything that would be great for humankind to keep on going this way. We have people that just want to either see the world burn or just want to see the chaos of everything unfold. And after the elections, which I will talk about that eventually, uh, is that it's the mere fact that um, It makes me not want to have this country saved. And this is more of a black pill or dark type moment, I guess you could say. Mostly due to the fact that if you get, if you have a more majority of these teens or the majority of these people be this completely stupid and keep voting for democratic policies that completely destroy your lives, then at that point, my only way to actually solve the problem is to make you go into a downward spiral into a living hell that is only going to uh, wake you up. Because when you go into places like Venezuela, where you go into places like North Korea, where people are actually eating people, or they're having to eat, pick up stuff from off the ground because they can't survive, or how bad it is in other third world countries, that's where you're going to have to get. And you deserve it because we we see these entitled people even on Twitter to where they don't even want to pay for their own lunch when the majority of other Americans have to pay for their own food in general when they're out on break or what have you. That's just normal. And they feel entitled to where they don't think they should be paying for their own lunch. This is a sense of entitlement that's insanity, which is our, very, on the very far left. So... The only way we can truly punish people that are that stupid, that are that insane, is to have that hell being brought into their face and have them forced to change. But by then, it will already be too late. Because by then, they will already be in this um, very uh, uh, draconian uh, communist era to where they can't change it anymore. To where all their values and everything that they love are gone. And then at that point, they're screwed. And they did it to themselves. And there's no way you can tell them otherwise. Because they're too stupid. So, let the hell come. Because at that point, if you're going to keep voting stupidly, then get what you deserve. 
Alright guys, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share, and as always, take care.